seahorses. We see them in jewelry, we see them in design, and if you look close enough, you'll see them in the water. They're one of those fantasy creatures that every story about a mermaid or King Neptune or anything under the sea, they always show seahorses. We're going to draw one today. I'm going to show you how to paint it, putting in all the bony plates. We're going to make it in a pretty color. Let's do a seahorse. We're going to start off with an oval on an angle, about like that, and another one a little bit lower that's a little bigger. This one's angled there, that one's angled there. Put a line. We're just going to go through it, come down, circle it. That's our basic shape. Then a straight line coming off of the oval. Maybe not that long. The largest seahorse actually um, they just found out is up to about 13 inches which isn't very big but you know bigger than what we normally think of. Now in order to do the shape now we're going to start here on the head. We're going to follow this down, come out like that the seahorse sucks up its food with this long snout. The eye is quite big. It goes right there. Nice big circle. And they have these different flanges coming off of their heads. So we're going to start with one that's going to go like that. We're going to follow just around outside of that oval. Now let's get another shape. We're going to follow this down, come onto the oval. Just as we come here, we're going to follow our, our circle and come up. For over here, we're going to bring this a little bit further, loop it up like that. Now right under it, bring your line. We're going to finally come out to where this oval is. Come down a little bit further than our line, a little bit thicker, and come up to our point. And that's our basic shape. Now here on the back, they've got a very obvious dorsal fin. Just make two lines, connect them like that. And right here, the gills are back here, and there's another fin. We just go like that for that one, okay? Now these lines, I made a few of them up here. We're going to do a few more on the back and continue them. They're going to get smaller as we get lower here. When we have this much done, come in and erase your guidelines. Seahorses, everyone loves seahorses. They're very unusual. You know, they're a real fish. They're a vertebrae. They actually have a backbone. But they also have these very pronounced bony plates that we're going to paint in. The next thing I want you to do to show where these bony plates go is we are going to go right here at the end of where our little fin is and you're going to make a line that goes down just kind of goes away when it gets this thick and the center of that we're going to make another one and it's going to come down and we're going to end it right about there okay for up here we're going to make an inside because we know our eyes going to go on the inside there and we're going to make another line right here okay now let's put some color in for this, we're going to use a half inch uh, flat brush. The we usually use a three quarter inch, but in this case, we're going to use a half inch. We're going to make him yellow. So I'm going to take um, a bit of a yellow, well, yellow orange, some yellow, some orange. Now watch how we make these bony plates. Starting here, I'm just going to go in between those lines not exact and we're going to come all the way down. So you're going to do that with this half inch brush. Get some more yellow and orange and on this side too we're going to make those bony plates. This makes them so that they are not as desirable for food by other predators because who wants to eat something that's real rigid and not soft like a mollusk. Seahorses are found throughout the world in warm waters. The most unusual thing about a seahorse is the male gives birth. 
the female impregnates the male, deposits her eggs, and then the male carries them, and then he gives live birth outside of his tummy. Okay, so we have these. Now for the fin here, I'm going to take the same orange and we're going to go out on the side of the brush. So it's like that. We're going to take the color here and we're going to go up the snout and we're going to color in the face and these back thin pieces. If it's hard to, for you to do it with the end of this brush, you can do it in with a smaller brush. I'm going to get some orange and I'm going to further put in the side colors on that. Okay? Now we're going to go to our small brush, get the black, and we're going to put in our eyeball and leave just a little bit of light for our definition. I'm then going to use brown, because I don't want to use any more black, to show a little more of the definition of the seahorse. So we'll put in a little bit on his snout. In other words, he sucks in the um, tiny little zooplankton that's in the water. Seahorses generally stay in the same area their whole life which might sometimes is only a couple meters in area. We're going to put in the spines there and with brown we're going to do the same thing back here. And using our brown we'll show a little bit of a ripple on the back. With our brown again we're going to put in on the face and they have a lot of different um, bony plates and textures on their bodies. You can put a little of an extension. They like to blend in with the seaweed, so we'll, you'll often see these extensions, like I just put that there and maybe another one here, that come off of the seahorse. And this is so that when they're in the seaweed, the other animals um, won't see them. Their best form of defense, besides their bony plates, is camouflage. There's one, in fact, the pygmy seahorse, it is a pink and it lives in a coral. I'm going to put one more line up here on the snout. It lives in coral and also let's make a few little, uh, a little bit of a jagged end here on the tummy. And it blends in right with the, with the pink coral it lives on. There's approximately 37 species of seahorse. Uh, the, la the most recently, they just discovered eight more in about the last 10 years. And they are in pearl. The Asian countries believe that because the male can give birth, they have magic properties. So there is a very, very, we're going to come down here with our brown. There is a very big market in Asia for seahorses where they use them as medicine. They think that they can cure a variety of ills. I'm just putting a little bit of brown in between some of these plates, those bony plates. And um, then what I'd like to do using this brush, I'm going to get some green. The seahorses usually live along uh, the shallow areas and they hang on to seaweed. So I'm just going to put in just a little bit of seagrass here and they're not very strong swimmers so they have to be able to that tail there they are able to grab hold and keep fight the current because they cannot over the current overcome the current the way they swim uh, they also um, generally make for life one of those animals, but it's the male who is dutiful, does exactly what he needs to do as he holds on to that pouch that contains the babies. There's our seahorse. You can write the name in, put some more seagrass in there if you'd like. Hippocampus, the seahorse. <laughs>